Exo Primal is a 5v5 PvE title from Capcom. They have been on a roll lately, releasing hit after hit in 2023. Coming day one to Game Pass, this is a bit of a gamble from the publisher. You are an Exo Fighter wearing a combat suit to repeatedly battle dinosaurs pulled through time by a murderous AI. It's weird, looks great, and it's fun as hell to play. There are issues with its longevity at launch though, so let's get into all that in the Xbox Error Review of Exo Primal. The game takes place in the years 2040 and 2043, as a murderous AI known as Leviathan has taken over a remote island. Through future tech, this AI pulls in an endless stream of alternate reality exo fighters in a fight to the death against randomly chosen dinosaurs and each other. The game starts off with a fairly lengthy mix of cutscenes and tutorials. Writing's bland, while the VO is actually kinda okay for a Capcom title. Plot-wise, things were never really interesting to me, and the style in which you unlock more cutscenes and lore is a little odd. As you play through the Dino Survival Mode, which as far as I can tell is the only one available at launch, you will level up your character and further unlock the plot. Those unlocks are a mix of constant lore dumps and occasional cutscenes. It definitely feels like there was a lot of time and effort put into building this world, and the game looks fantastic with all the cutscenes done entirely in-engine. Your character is known as Ace, and after choosing from a very limited character creation toolset, you're dumped into a team of boring caricatures. After some light training, your plane crash lands and you're stuck fighting endless war games as your crew tries to escape. As this is an always online game, I have had issues getting through all the story, as I've had numerous disconnects though my internet situation isn't really ideal at the moment. If I wasn't playing for review, I also would have quickly skipped any and all cutscenes because I just haven't found any of them interesting. If anything, they've kind of just gotten in the way of my mindless dino horde shooting fun. Exoprimal is a 5v5 team-based shooter. It has two modes, one where the final stage sees you potentially fighting other players, and the other one where it attempts to not have you do that, and they are both within the dino survival mode. That PvPvE nature was the main mode in the beta periods, but they appear to have done the we'll try to not give you any PvP hopper in the full game. Each team will consist of the main three archetypes these games tend to have. First up are your three tanks. You got a big punchy boy, a big old shooty man, and a fast sword guy. Healers have a floaty lady who heals with, hmm, sound waves, a roller girl who shoots you back to health, along with a witch doctor who does both an AoE and a direct heal that'll work on a cooldown. The healers and tanks can all deal decent damage as well with their various abilities, but not quite as much as the varied DPS focus suits. My favorite DPS suit was the Ghost Rider inspired grenade shooting fire fiend. There's also your typical assault rifle wielding soldier type, a melee focused acrobat, and finally a sniper that has charged scope shots. On PC, the game feels like an absolute dream, feeling pretty much perfect at my normal DPI settings. On controller though, it's a bit rougher, requiring me to dial in my settings to make it go from feeling stiff as hell to pretty good by the end. Aim Assist also doesn't seem to ever be on too strongly despite having a setting to turn it up. All suits use the same control scheme. It's a third person dual joystick shooter where your face buttons, bumpers, and triggers are all tied to unique abilities. At the start, you'll choose your suit and hope no one else copies you. And once you're in a match, the fun begins as both teams race to compete objectives before each other. There's a pretty wide variety of overall objectives in the game, but I had pretty bad luck and got the same ones repeatedly. The final objective has six or so options, yet I only saw the same two for most of my matches. The majority of the time you'll be performing Dino Culls, where you murder a bunch of randomly chosen smaller dinos. Occasionally you get a big old beefy boy to take down, and if your entire team dies you'll have to restart that objective from your most recent checkpoint. Exo Primal is fast and a bit floaty. In practice though, it is damned fun to take on dinos, and the PvP side is a bit shakier. It only happens at the very end of rounds, and when it does you'll know because you can die extremely fast. And it's a crossplay title, so I was repeatedly sniped by my fellow PC players before I realized they could even see me. There is a more PvE focused content that's due to come post launch, and I think it will do the game a lot of good for it. The PvP in its current state is serviceable, but 
only just. Progression-wise, the big change from the betas is that we actually get to see it. First up is your player rank. This is a long-haul progression system that is tied to unlocking various suits and rigs. Rigs are an additional piece you can customize your exosuit with. You'll only have three choices early on, with a high-powered railgun, a heal, and a super jump to begin with. One of the post-launch features will be exosuit variants, and I wish these were ready now, as they are hopefully going to offer up some much-needed variety in playstyle with how they change your main weapons on each suit. Those suits also have their own leveling systems that can earn you cosmetics and BIC coins. Those coins are used to unlock and upgrade modules. Every suit has three module slots, which are the main way you can customize your characters. These do take a long time to unlock as well, and they're really one of the main upgrade grinds of the game. Finally is the Season Pass, which has a free and premium tier. We were given the Digital Deluxe Edition for review, which included a few cosmetics and the Season Pass. Leveling was fairly quick, and the amount of included cosmetic content was decent. I can see any of these leveling grinds going through quickly if you find a group of friends and that gets deep into the game for a few weeks. And the announced post-launch support from Capcom, along with the game's inclusion in Game Pass, should help it gain some sort of foothold over time in the crowded gaming market. Utilizing the excellent RE engine, Exoprimal is a damn good-looking game with occasionally incredible scope. Most of the time, you're fighting a few dozen enemies with a mix of excellent and mediocre texture work. Human models, exosuits, and most of the dinosaurs vary from pretty good to great. Cityscapes are more of a mixed bag, though, with some shockingly low-resolution assets mixed in. But performance-wise, on both Xbox and PC, the game is rock solid. I averaged over 200 FPS on my beefy rig, and it never felt a major dip on Series X from its 60 FPS target either. The most impressive part are the dino swarms that can randomly occur. Leviathan normally teleports enemies in through small purple cosmic orbs, but on occasion, he'll summon a massive orb and thousands of raptors will pour out like a tidal wave. It is simultaneously one of the stupidest and greatest things I've ever seen. The mayhem that unfolds is astonishing, and somehow the game's performance never buckles. On both Series X and PC, it ran the same as if there were 20 enemies instead of the over 200 or more that were chomping my poor tank's face off. Supporting all of this is a mix of great sound effects and god-awful voice clips. Your character never talks in cutscenes, instead gesticulating like a silent movie star back in the 1920s. In Mission, though, you and your teammates will constantly talk and it sounds straight out of a bad 2000s arcade game. The music is consistently excellent, pulling from titles like uh, The Division with its lo-fi synth beats before ramping things up into something more massively orchestral. None of it was like super memorable, but it very much helped set the mood. Unlike the voice work in the game, the sound effects are very well done, with a great 3D mix so that you can know where enemies are before they attack you. Wrapping things up, Exoprimal is a solid foundation. What is here now will be fun for a few months, and Capcom will need to show that they can back up what sounds like a solid live service plan. It's available for 60 bucks or it's on Game Pass for both console and PC. So solo, with friends, it's just a hell of a lot of fun, and it's an easy recommendation to at least give it a try.